It may not appear particularly engine-like, but this prototype design by Nate, computer engineering instructor Roz Taylor, is said to be at least 125% more efficient than other internal combustion designs. I uh, probably designed my first rotary uh, design in 1973 as a teenager, and I've been chewing at it ever since, on and off. And at long last, Taylor's new design is on the verge of patent approval. The pistons are in a circular shape, and the pistons themselves actually move back and forth uh, in, a, in a space, and so it becomes an opposed piston design that takes energy off of both ends of the combustion chamber, which makes it inherently more efficient than, a, than the standard internal combustion engine. It could be a, a in a gasoline engine or it could be a diesel engine. Um, there's lots of different configurations. It could be a steam engine if you wanted it to. It's just a piston system. The one that's this size, the 1.4 liter engine, we're talking about it being 100 to 150 horsepower. A circular design, yes. Just another rotary engine, no, says the inventor, who is also a farmer, pastor, and grandfather and self-taught mechanical engineer. So in my design, what I've tried to do is I've tried to capitalize on what we've done well with the, with the reciprocal engine, taking standard poppet valves, compression rings, and, and oil rings, and put them into a design where it's more efficient and more compact. On this side here, you can see the pistons are moving back and forth. They're actually differential, so they're moving only half of the stroke. Not only has the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology been a tremendous source of technical expertise, the school has also invested almost $100,000 in the development of this engine. It also happens to be a teaching aid. While I'm teaching electronics, a lot of the concepts, whether it's uh, pressure, which relates to voltage, or whether it's differential amplification, they all come from this particular design number of things that I've learned along the way, uh, whether it's programming or 3D uh, uh, graphics, um, all sorts of different mathematics associated with it. And now I'm learning the machining and the engineering and all those sorts of things that are associated. And just maybe there will be a commercially successful ending to this project. We'd really like to see uh, an industrial partner pick it up and, and uh, come in and help us uh, with their research of it. And if they then decide that it's something that's worth commercializing, we'd love to see that happen as well. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.